Seven Hawaii State Hospital employees were placed on leave without pay for 30 days pending the investigation of the escape of patient Randall Sato on Sunday, State Department of Health officials said this afternoon. As the investigation progresses, more employees may be identified and placed on off-duty status, they said in a news release. Department officials also said that all unescorted on-campus and off-campus privileges have been stopped, visits to Kaniev Clubhouse have been suspended, and all levels of patient privilege and visitation policies are being reviewed. Security staff have been reassigned, and additional security fencing is being expedited, officials added. Update 1.15 p.m. An undisclosed number of the Hawaii State Hospital 630 employees are being placed on unpaid leave today as the state attorney general's office investigates how Randall Sato was able to leave the hospital grounds, hail a cab, to fly to Maui, and then get on another flight to California, where he was captured today, Governor David Ige announced today. Attorney General Doug Chin said Sato will face an extradition hearing in San Joaquin County within days. Once he's back in Hawaii, Chin said his office plans to make a case before a judge that Sato is not suffering from a mental defect. This was premeditated, Chin said. It was intentional. It was planned. This was something that wasn't done by somebody suffering from a mental defect. At the same time, Ige said visits have been suspended to the hospital's clubhouse, patient privileges are being reviewed, all staff are being retrained on accountability, security is being reassigned to the area, and fencing and other physical barriers are being procured. Ige expressed frustration that hospital officials took 10 hours to notify law enforcement that Sato had escaped, made his way to Maui, and was en route to California. Ige called the delay totally unacceptable. Clearly we need to know where these patients are, especially those that can be a danger to our community and we need to account for their whereabouts. Clearly Randall Sato is not one who should have been allowed to leave the facility unescorted. We will be investigating the specifics of what happened, and we will make changes. Health Director Ginny Pressler, like Chin, declined to go into details of Sato's escape from the Kenya Hospital which holds 202 patients, its allowable capacity. Hospital employees on several shifts violated hospital protocols and procedures, Presselder said. Some employees, she said, apparently weren't doing their job. Update 12.50 p.m. Captured Hawaii State Hospital escapee Randall Sato will remain in custody of the San Joaquin County, Calif. Sheriff's Office until he is extradited to Hawaii. According to spokesman Detective Dave Konechny.